gradually varied flow is very common in practice. It is the foundation for the calculation of water surface profiles used in analysis and design. In general, gradually varied flow can be steady or unsteady. Normally, however, the term gradually varied flow is used to refer to steady gradually varied flow. Unsteady gradually varied flow is referred to simply as unsteady flow. In gradually varied flow, the following conditions are assumed. 1. The flow is steady. 2. The flow is parallel as opposed to curvilinear. 3. The head loss can be approximated as that of uniform flow. 4. The roughness can be approximated as that of uniform flow. 5. The pressure correction factor cosine theta can be approximated as 1. 6. Air entrainment is negligible. The gradient of hydraulic head is The negative sign for the friction slope is needed because the flow is from left to right while the derivative is taken from right to left by convention. The friction slope is where H sub F is the head loss due to friction and L is the length of the channel reach. The gradient of specific energy is gradient of the channel bed or bottom slope is therefore the gradient of specific energy is Under steady flow, the discharge Q equal VA is constant, replacing discharge in the gradient of specific energy operating on the derivatives Using the chain rule, from the definition of top width T, simplifying From the definition of fruit number, the dimensionless Chazy equation for hydraulically wide channels is at critical flow, the friction slope is the critical slope. Therefore, the friction factor is equal to the critical slope. Gradually varied flow equation for hydraulically wide channels reduces to defining the depth gradient. The final expression for the equation governing gradually varied flow in hydraulically wide channels is the 
only assumption of this equation is that of a hydraulically wide channel. The depth gradient is only a function of bottom slope, vertical slope, and fruit number. 